Hey guys, so I'm going to show you how Ron uses Phrase Express. Well, I'm actually going to show you Phrase Expander because that is the free version. You can download it free and you can keep using it past the 21 day trial. You just have to um, deal with that annoying pop up that's going to come up every now and then asking you to purchase it. If you do want to go ahead and purchase it, um, you can. Um, we Ron uses Phrase Express and he just uses the standard uh, one-time license. If you were in the medical field, you wanted more features than that, maybe you would do these other options. But if you just do the basic one, Phrase Express is $46.90. And then Phrase Expander, just for comparison, is their standard is $59. And they do work the same, basically the same way as I'm going to show you, um, just so you know. But yeah, I am going to show you how to do Phrase Expander. Now, Ron uses this tool to save him a lot of time when he is going through the write-up portion of his job and he wants to insert the templates. So the template information before what he would used to do, what he used to do is have his template up and he would have to copy every section, copy it, and then paste it into the write-up portion. And then he goes in and he, he makes the, um, the little edits and adds in the details and deletes stuff and, and goes through it like that. That's how he uses his templates. And this one, well, the ones that he has created are basically what he uses for Clear Capital, but he uses them for Computer Share also. And you might have your own templates that you have edited and created. So you can use yours, of course and uh, make this uh, work for you. The Phrase Expander and Phrase Express, they're both used to just input a whole bunch of text using just one keystroke. So it's very simple to, when Ron goes through his reports now, he just hits a button and it will um, populate that group of text that he is, uh, that he's assigned with that, that keystroke or that button. Um, Ron uses the F1 through F12 buttons. And so let's get started. So I am using the um, Chrome browser as well, just so you guys know. Um, you guys might be using Internet Explorer or Firefox or something like that. Um, but I'm just going to show you the process here. So when you click to download, it just wants to know um, your email address and whether or not you're working in the healthcare field. Just going to answer those questions and then it will start the download. So it's downloading right down here in my web browser, downloading to my computer. And now I'm just going to click on here. You might need to go to your actual downloads folder and get it from there if you do not see it um, in your browser. Some of you might not have that option. Okay, and yes, I want it to allow it to make changes. Accept the agreement and continue. Yes, install, install, create a shortcut and launch. So I, I will just leave this selected. This means that when you turn on your computer that the phrase expander is going to also turn on as well. Um, that's fine for right now. You might want to turn that off depending on how many different, um, different keys that you associate with. And yes, I'm going to launch phrase expander. We'll just finish, click on finish, enter your trial key. So this is going to be in my email box and you're going to find it in your inbox. It will be emailed to the email that you provided earlier. I'm just going to copy it here, paste it and start my free trial. Okay. So now that we have phrase expander opened, uh, let me just show you how we get started with this. So you're gonna, it's already selected here, my glossary. We're gonna add a new template and 
right over here, the contents. It wants to know what is the contents that you want this to create. I'm just going to write testing this out. Okay. Now there's a couple ways that you could have this automatically populate for you. Some people will do an abbreviation, like you could do TTO as an abbreviation, right? And that would remind you testing this out. But what we like to use, what Ron finds easiest is to make a shortcut. So in order to add that, I'm gonna click here and I'm gonna use F1 as the shortcut. You could click on that you have to select Control F1, right? Because sometimes you might wanna use your F1 and you know all your F keys at the top there you might actually have those already set to use other things with. So if you made it so that every time you clicked on Alt F1, this would populate, but I'm just gonna do the regular F1. You can also turn off Phrase Expander for those instances where maybe you're not doing reviews and you're not doing desktop work, you're just using the internet and um, this will allow you to use your regular F1 through F12 keys as they would normally be just by turning it off. And you would do that right down here. You want to want to click on um, right click phrase expander and then just click exit. But I'm not going to do that right now, but that's how you would turn it off. And also if you start up your computer, if you remember when I was downloading this, it asked me if I wanted to this to automatically start up. I said yes. If you don't click on yes, then you would access your phrase expander down here and click on open and that's going to start it up for you. So let's go back to our first test. So our shortcut key is going to be just hitting F1. I'm going to say OK. And then we have a little test test out here. I'm just going to click on F1. Doop. Yep, it works. Um, I'll show you if you do a Word doc. I was testing this out earlier. If you do a Word doc, I'm going to show you. I'm just hitting F1 on my keyboard. Yep, it worked. And then if I show you on my computer, on my web browser, excuse me, um, it also works there. Ta-da, like magic. So how does Ron actually use this? Let me show you uh, a little bit more just so you can understand what's going on here. I'm just going to delete all of that testing stuff. You could also, which would be a lot easier just to click here, right click and hit delete. There's other options here. Uh, Phrase Expander is um, was developed for the medical field. And so this has a lot of different options that you can do. It's just very, if you don't know what you're doing or what you're looking for, um, it doesn't really give you a lot of direction but we really do just use this for its basic functions. So um, you probably won't get too involved into all of its little different, different things that it can do. Um, so let's go, let me show you how Ron uses this. We're going to go get the templates that we have on the website. I'm using Ron's login info here. Okay, so I'm just going to go to the appraiser success group. We also do have the same templates under how to make money doing appraisal reviews. Resources, templates, and phrases. This is the way you're going to access those if you have not already downloaded the templates. So let's use, this is the one he most commonly uses. The one to four family co-ops and condos. And I'm going to open it here. So when he's doing reports for Clear Capital, this is basically the questions that are asked. So he has typed them into the template already. Um, and then the responses that he typically uses is all within here. So I'm going to copy that. And this is going to be our F1. Number one is going to be our F1. So I'm going to go back to Phrase Expander. We're making a new template. It's kind of confusing because we call these templates and then Phrase Expander calls each each one a template. And so I hope that doesn't get too confusing as I'm explaining this. But over here on the right, this is where we're going to paste that all that information I just copied from this template here, this first section. 
And then we're going to put here the shortcut. So I'm just going to click on this box here. This is the description that's going to show you uh, the first part of the text. Um, we, I'm not going to create an abbreviation. I'm just going to create a shortcut and we're going to do F1. Okay, say all right, and then we can use the test pad again. I'm going to click F1 on my keyboard and ta-da, it self-populates. Again, I will show you in my email how that works. I'm hitting F1 and that also will just um, enter that information. And then if I opened even a blank Word document, it also works there as well. So that's what you would do. You would go through the template that you have, um, make it make sense to you. Maybe you don't want to use the F1 keys. Maybe you want to use something else. And go back to Phrase Expander, click on a new template. Maybe you want to use, um, maybe you want to do Shift and do F2. And then that would mean every time I click on Shift F2, that uh, information will populate there. Now, as again, the possibilities are endless. It could go through as many uh, key keyboard functions as you can remember. Um, the there's really a limitless possibility here for. Uh, auto populating the text when you want to. It's just a matter of whether you remember or not what button and keypads are associated with that text. But I would start out pretty simple and just do one template, um, make it a little easier, get used to it. And then if you have more templates that you want to add, like Ron has um, templates for a BPO, maybe you're doing um, regular desktop reviews and you also do BPO's, you could do a second set of, of the templates, just create a, a different keystroke. Um, there's only one keystroke or shortcut button that could be assigned to each one. So that might be where you would want to implement the shift and then those F1 features. Okay, so I hope that helps. You're gonna just go through and add each paragraph or each section of the template, associate a shortcut to that, and voila, it's um, all gonna be there for you. Of course, if it's not working, make sure that you do have it turned on down here. All right, let, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'll be happy to help you out.